All right, all right, all right. Johnny Boy and I are back out on another what hopes to be epic canoe camping fishing trip. We decided to come out on a just two-nighter, nothing too crazy. We wanted to paddle the river. We haven't done that yet, so we're on the Racket River. Heading our way down to uh, the Trombley Landing lean-to. We both got our pizzas and beer, and it uh, doesn't really get much better. I mean, paddling down the Racket River with the Racket Brew. We got a little bit of a late start, but all is good. I love going to new places the first time. Oh, definitely. Probably my favorite thing to do. Yeah, it's really great. All right, it's a little dark. I don't know how good you can see me. We've been paddling on this river now for about half an hour. And we're just trying to get to the area where we want to be camped. And we're hoping we can get there before we lose total light. We know where we want to kind of be camped and fishing. But if we don't get there, we're just going to pick a campsite along the bank here. And tomorrow morning we'll pack up and, and move down the river more. We have landed at the Trombley Landing Lean To. Probably paddled for what? 25, 30 Yeah, wasn't wasn't a long paddle at all. We paddled pretty quick though. Yeah, we didn't really fish or anything, so it was a quick paddle down. I'm just thankful we got the lean to give you guys a better tour of this spot tomorrow when it's daylight. But it's a really nice, very nice clean lean to so. Definitely gonna be sleeping in here at night. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Look at it. Looks so good. We've had this pizza so many times, so I already know it's delicious. But this is right from the Racket River Brewing Company. They have a little pizza food truck. I think it's called Fusion Street Food. I mean, if you come into this area, please stop in. Their their food is amazing. Their service is awesome. Great people. And uh, again, if you're in this area, I mean, there's really, really no better place to get pizza than here. All right, just so you know how good it tastes, because, you know, it's not like you get to taste it. I got to do it for you. So I'll tell you. Hang on, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Boston, mm. right? Mm -hmm. mm. Promise you won't be disappointed. Can't see nothing, but mm -hmm. it is good, man. Woo. All right, there it is. We're all set up. And I'm going to blind John real quick. There's a bright light. <laughs> We're going to call it quits for the night. Catch you guys in the morning. So long for now. Good night. Night, night. Top of the morning. We've been up for a little bit. Got up around like 5.30ish, it's probably a little after 6. Got all packed up and about to make some coffee real quick. Foggy out this morning on the water. jumping over there pretty excited to get out and do some fishing today but let me get up here and get this coffee done and here is the site by the way couldn't see much last night those boxes burnt down those pizza boxes and Uneventful night, luckily. <laughs> yeah, minus John cutting his finger. But it is that time. Coffee time. Let's go. Alright, it's that time. We're out. 
heading on down the river go find another campsite go drop all of our gear off and we're gonna just fish the day away foggy the river is so foggy still we've been on the water now for a few minutes I can't even see Logan up in front of me I don't have very high hopes for the fishing river tripping is kind of new for us I mean we've traveled on some rivers getting between lake to lake but haven't fished rivers very much <clears throat> but the water is just so low right now oh there's Logan up there I see him now let's see if one of us can catch a fish on a fish. Bass? Yep. All right. Finally got a fish, y'all. A small little guy. A little 13 incher. But hey, maybe the fishing will pick up down here. We'll see. perch on here all right nice little perch we're at site 18 right now it's a nice site open right on the water all right we decided to keep keep moving because we can't fish from shore here really can't cast and whatnot so we are going to keep it moving. Caught a little tiny pike, man. Little guy. Smallest pike I've caught ever. Just a tiny little dude. Huh. Just a little baby. All right. Another pike. That's a good one, bro. Yeah, that's a good pike. Nice. All right, dude. All right, we're getting into him here. Not a monster, probably. How big? He's twenty-three. A twenty-three incher. That's awesome. And I just want my Johnny boy to catch a fish, man. We stopped at another campsite and it was terrible. One of the worst campsites I've ever seen. So we're continuing down the river. And Logan is slaying me and fishing. Three species and he's got a nice pike. I think for the river, that's a nice one here. I can't buy a fish. I gotta get one fish. We gotta eat too. We haven't eaten yet. We got a good breakfast planned. We got the chorizo breakfast wraps again. And then for dinner tonight, we got two really nice fillets, some tenderloins, some mixed vegetables, some mashed potatoes. It's gonna be a really good dinner. Finally got a fish. That was a struggle. Whatever I got, it feels nice. Yeah. Nice pike. Oh. <laughs> Nice little pike. 
Bob pretty good too. Hey, sweet. I'm starting to think it wasn't going to happen for me. I'll take that. And our next campsite is actually right up here. So we're going to get out and check that one out and see what that looks like. If it's good, we'll stay here. If not, we'll go back to the other one. All right, so this is number 16. And it's a nice site. I mean, the couple dynamics that it poses really is the tent situation. Hammock, you'd be good. There's only a couple little level spots, but wow, the view. And there's a pretty deep little hole right out here in front of the site for fishing, so. It's a nice sight. I ducks flying off that little marshal. There they go right there. But the view is awesome. We're going to travel down a little bit further though. Check a couple more sites out. And um, at least we know what's here. We may come back. We, we both really like this site. Let's get all loaded up here. The sun is finally out. It's going to be a beautiful day. That's a bluegill? Yeah. Sunfish, bluegill, whatever. Oh, and quick update. We ended up coming back to this campsite. <laughs> we haven't started. We haven't recorded since we got back here. I forgot about that. We're about to cook breakfast right now. So we'll, uh, we'll get all that stuff prepared and eat and then go do some more fishing. All right. So got the chorizo off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang hard on that one. Got the eggs going. Pre-marinated that with a little bit of taco seasoning, salt and pepper. Cut this goodness up. Should be tasty. Alright. Just about, just about done. Get a little crispier. Oh, those eggs look great. The brunch spread we're having here. John's gonna make his. John's got his built. Oh dang, professional roll. That's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm about to grab mine now. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, hang on, grab the net. John got a pike. Nice. You got him. Sweet. John and I have uh, just been hanging out at camp all day, all afternoon, I should say. After going swimming, I went and laid down for a little bit, and. Got up and we just kind of hung out, did some fishing from shore, and now we're gonna go float down the river and try our luck at some drop shot fishing for walleye. So we'll see how this goes. Got something really teeny tiny on the drop shot. <laughs> just a sunfish.
it's official. Logan and I, we really suck at river fishing. What do you think? You think we suck at river fishing or it's just tough fishing? The plan right now, we're just gonna troll back to camp. We drifted down the river. We're gonna troll back to camp and just go back to camp and make our dinner. We got a really good dinner tonight. Oh no, so what do you say, man? I say we suck at fishing in the river. No, no, no. I, I, the way I look at it is, I didn't even want to catch any fish. You know, I just, I just wanted to go float down the river. Let's go get this fire going, get a bed of coals to get a good sear on the steak. All right. Hey, John. I got it, yep. Just saying, bro. Gloves. Got gotcha. you. Gloves. John. John. <laughs> we established this rule because John and I have both, we've, we've sawed our hands, we've chopped our hands with knives, with axes. <laughs> We finally, after both of us doing it a few times, we're like, all right, hey, we see one of us, you know, processing wood or doing anything with, you know, something sharp, gotta remind yeah. them to put their gloves on. Probably the only nice thing about summer. Like you're sweat it's hot, you're sweaty, the sun's blazing on you, but fires are really easy to start. Yeah. Logan and I were just talking earlier how we like we prefer winter to summer. Oh definitely. 100%. <laughs> I'll, I'll take 25 over 85 any yeah. day. Yeah. Right, good job. Get this coal bed up. And we got some nice fillets to put on there. Oh dude, I can't wait. Beautiful evening out. Fire's just about burnt down. That good basic coals and we'll start cooking these steaks up. There's the steaks for tonight. Gonna be good. So we got the mashed potatoes already done. And we're gonna cook the vegetables in the frying pan. And that chorizo grease. And we got a little California blend of vegetables. Cooking it in that. Chorizo grease, added a little bit of butter, a little bit of seasoning, a little garlic seasoning in there. It's going to be good. That's good. That is going to be good. Perfect little coal base. All right. The finished product. Can't wait to try this. Let's go. Mmm. Oh, that's tender. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Nice. Good stuff. What did you think of today, man? I thought it was a good day. I mean, I caught a lot of fish this morning, but nothing whatsoever this afternoon, and kind of vice versa for you yeah and then uh i mean outside of that man we had some really good food today yeah. that was some really good food the weather was perfect it was really nice that moon is crazy man yeah I mean, you can't see it i'm sure but yeah. it's monstrous it's just a little dot in this camera but yeah. it's pretty huge big old full moon it's yeah. definitely it's a perfect night out yeah it's been a, it's been a good trip though how's dinner 
that steak was man it was tender yeah. that thing was you could squish that thing with your tongue you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. like that was a tender steak it melted in your mouth yeah i didn't even have yeah. to put pressure my knife to cut through it it's just like i set it on it moved it it was cutting through the steak yeah no it was good, good. mashed potatoes and veggies you can never never beat that out in the woods yeah so about to call it a night yeah i think we'll call it a night we got to get up early and paddle out of here in the morning john and i both got some stuff to take care of tomorrow and so we'll be paddling in the fog which is going to be pretty adventurous we'll see how that goes but yeah we up at 5 30. yeah i get up at 5 30 make that coffee crush some granola bars and make our way down the river we're gonna we're only gonna fish the first little maybe hour of it and then after that we're gonna paddle our butts off and, and get back to the put-in yeah so that's a night it's a wrap tonight we'll see you in the morning that's it man good night good morning we are we got up at 5 30 today we're pretty much the tents and stuff are packed up take a look at the sunrise we got here it's pretty nice unfortunately we have to paddle in the other direction up the river but the good thing about today is it's not a cloud that we're gonna be paddling in yesterday was just a wet thick layer of fog on the water and just you felt wet paddling in it and that's not here today it felt like it was raining <laughs> yeah it was pretty it was just wet paddling through it even though it wasn't raining yeah. we got the coffee going all right, we're going to drink this coffee, get our boats loaded up, and get out of here. This might be record time for getting out of campsite for the two of us together. Yeah. Yeah, we're just getting, we're all loaded up in the boats right now, just leaving our campsite. Doing a little bit of fishing. And this first little leg of the trip, we're going to fish for probably the first hour, and then after that, we're going to reel our lines in and get the paddle done. Oh, these guys are mad. That's all she wrote, folks. We are just about to the truck. And man, what an amazing paddle. If you ever get a chance, definitely uh, take a river trip. It's different. It's a little different feeling than being on Ponza Lake. I really enjoyed it. 
we had a really good time and we're excited for our upcoming trips though we have some awesome trips planned this fall we're going to be doing a couple five nighters and doing some serious traveling so stay tuned hit that notification bell so when those videos do come out you get notified and you can watch them and uh, let us know what you think if you guys have any questions or anything like that please hit us up in the comments other than that we really appreciate you guys watching and we hope to uh, see you guys out camping sometime but until next time take care and be well